and we are good to go. Yes, welcome everyone to day three of our EFT for surrender to ease the process of surrender. And we are actually streaming to Facebook Live. Yay, it worked. Um, and I am joined here today by an angel teach teacher and human design guru or sorceress, we like to call her. Um, and if you're in the Angels Alchemy and Human Design group, you see her posting every every Tuesday and chiming in about human design. So, Jamie, welcome. Thank you. I'm happy to be here. I don't usually get to make these things during the week, so I just love how everything lined up. I know, right? And and Jamie um, is well versed in in tapping as well, and uh, is actually going to be leading the tapping this weekend on Saturday and Sunday. So since she happened to be off, she's joining us today and and tomorrow too. Or mm -hmm. yep. yeah, that's awesome, cool. Mm -hmm. All right, so um, Jamie, I'm just going to pin the video for um, I just if somebody unmutes, uh, I'm just preserving the anonymity for folks who are joining here. So I um, do want you to speak up, Jamie, when, um, when you feel guided to, and I'll just switch the video. So day three, and uh, you know, very strongly this morning, I got the theme of it's really important. And some of this is gonna be what's been shared, and some of this is just what the angels were like, you're gonna do this. We're gonna be focusing on wanting what isn't what's showing up. So wanting things to be different. This is so tied in with surrender. And we have the full moon today in Aries. So full moon blessings to all of you. And when, wait till you see the card that came forward because it's just like, you can't make this shit up, seriously. Um, so what happens? And I was thinking about this as I was getting ready. What is it that's happening? What's the, what's the, what are the dynamics that are at play when we're really wanting things to be different from what's showing up? And what I realized um, is that when we do this, we're creating this idea of a false power, worshiping a creation of the ego, which is, is a false power. And we give our when we give the, our power to this false idea, we misplace our true power, our true calling, if you will, which makes it so easy for the inner child to feel bullied by others, rejected by others, hurt by others, for us to feel less than and not enough because we're not standing in our true power, but instead we're worshiping this idea of something that should be different, something that is really a creation of the ego. And uh, you know, that's never gonna be something that, that gets us into a healthy space. So the card for today, and Jamie, if you have thoughts to share on that, I'd love to hear it, but I'm gonna share the, the card first because you guys are gonna laugh. It's the Knight of Acorns. This is, again, I'm still using the spirit song, um, Tarot by Paulina Cassidy. And uh, the, the card that came forward is the Boar, which is the Knight of Acorns. And it's about action and it's about drive. And so much of this card is aligned with the energy of full moon and Aries. It's like just pushing forward, like just doing it, like just boldly going forth. And I was giggling as I was remembering Kumba. If you know the Lion King, um, you know, Pumpa was Timon's partner. And uh, yeah, so it just feels so appropriate because we have the full moon helping us, supporting us with this drive to release what's standing in the way of our experience of surrender. So Jamie, what are your thoughts? I just... Uh, yeah, I love that. And this, it's kind of you know, you bringing that up, it's been a little bit of topic that's um, been going around the one group of women that I'm connected with right now, just kind of like, you know, creating what you want and not, you know, that, that part of creating what you want and not settling for less, but yet still being open to possibility. So I just, I love that this theme is coming up right now because I am, um, you know, I'm of the belief, like, of course I want what I want but I've learned to leave myself open to something greater, to something that I can't even see that the universe may bring my way. But that was not easy because as you know, surrender is my S word. Um, <laughs> dance with surrender <laughs> all the time. <laughs> and um, so I love that I get to even just be here in this. And, um, but just that being said, you know, really finding, you know, to me, the word that's coming and maybe it's just more personal, but it may resonate with others is to, 
humble ourselves enough to know that we don't have all the answers and to really allow ourselves to go deep into surrender and release that, that need to control, that need to be, you know, have exactly what we want when we want it. And that's not always a bad thing at all, you know, but it's just sometimes we can block our blessings or we're not happy with what we manifest or create after all, because I feel like sometimes the universe will bring us that, especially when we are so focused to show us that like, you know, is, are you sure this is what you want? Because this is what it feels like. And it doesn't feel so great after all. <laughs> you know, it's like, I put all this focus and effort into this. <laughs> thank you but this like I thought it would feel better than that so <laughs> you know if you find yourself in those moments just allowing yourself to say okay you know what I'm just going to lean back and surrender and let what's truly meant for me or something else you know to excite me or inspire me so that I, I keep feeling that feeling I had before <laughs> I love that yeah and it's so much about understanding that there's nothing to fight there's nothing to fight. It's just about release. Yay. Thank you, Jamie. You're welcome. <laughs> I always love your wisdom. And I love that blocking the blessings. That's a, that's a little tagline, I feel like. A hashtag blocking the blessings. Not. Yeah. <laughs> love it. Yeah. Not going to do that. Yeah. So again, for those who have just joined, we are focusing today on um, releasing the the, the, the desire to um, want things to be different than what they are, you know, big theme, so much about control, so much about where surrender steps in here. Um, and I do feel called to emphasize that the journey of surrender, as Jamie called it her S word, the journey of surrender is an ongoing thing. So I just want to, and we said this on day one, but I, I feel like it needs to be said, um, again, that, that this is an ongoing practice, that it's not like you guys finished nine days of doing this with me and all of a sudden, you know, like, okay, I'm done with surrender. It does get easier. It does become a process that is automatic, that when you find yourself bumping up against the ego, you're like, okay, I got to go back into my, my God space, my goddess space, and remember who I really am because I'm not these thoughts, I'm not these feelings, I'm not this struggle. I am so much bigger, so much vaster than all of that. And so it's, it's a process of when we come up against that, just remembering how, how powerful we really are. All right. So, uh, Jamie, anything you want to chime in about before we tap here? Feels complete. Yeah. Feel complete. Awesome. The, yeah. Yeah, you know, just the one little thing that popped up for me was um, when you were saying that is like, if I really start struggling in that space where I'm afraid to surrender, I just kind of sit and like, what am I really afraid of? Right. And then thankfully with, you know, the tools like EFT, or sometimes just a good talk with a girlfriend, you know, you can kind of ease through it and release it and um, get back into that space knowing that you're safe. Yeah. Yeah, I love that. And it's true. It's like, what, what are we really afraid of? And I think doing inner child work around this can be very insightful. You know, who is the little girl, the little kid, the little boy um, inside who's, who's triggered, you know, and, and what are they trying to accomplish? Um, and, and understanding that, that that's okay, that that happens, and to come to this place of loving that inner child um, so that when they are triggered, you know, you're, you're able to just give them a big virtual hug um, internally. So, all right, let's get to it here. We're just going to start right where we're at. So please repeat after me. And as I said before, you know, if these words don't resonate for you completely, just go off on the tangent that feels right to you. Um, or another option is you can just sit and receive. Um, so do what whatever it is that feels right to you. So tapping on the outside of the hand. Even though I don't want what's showing up in my life, I don't like it. And sometimes I even hate it. And so I fight it. 
to the now. I deeply and completely love, forgive, and accept myself. Even though I really hate what's showing up in my life sometimes. And so I fight it. I deeply and completely love, forgive, and accept myself. Even though there are so many things about my life right now that I do not like and maybe even hate, I deeply and completely love, forgive, and accept myself. Tapping the inside of the eyes. Don't like what's showing up for me. Don't like what's being given to me. Some things I even hate. I just wish things were different. I wish things weren't how they are. I don't want to surrender. because then I would stop fighting. And fighting makes me feel powerful. Fighting is powerful. I believe that fighting is powerful. That's what we're taught. That's what I've learned. That to fight is to be powerful. And to win is to reign supreme. But this is a fight I cannot win. Because there is nothing to fight. And so I step into surrender. and allow what is with peace, with grace, with integrity, and compassion for all the feelings inside of me that sometimes can't accept this top of the head, but I do, because I deeply and completely love, forgive, and accept myself. Once again, as what often happens, that went where I didn't expect it to go. Um, but trusting that it went where it needed to go. And um, did want to mention, and I apologize, I neglected to before, um, as you have things come up, feel free to um, put it, drop it into the chat here on Zoom or put it into the comments on the Facebook Live. Um, love to hear how, how this is resonating for you or what comes up for you. All right, Jamie, anything to jump in about before we move on to round two? I just love that fighting is powerful and what a deeply ingrained belief. Yeah. Been conditioned to that's normal and the strongest wins. And this town, I love that the angels took it there that like, because that's such a huge thing for people. They, and I just never really associate it personally that, um, just like the power and to feel powerful when we fight like ooh, like, how that can even be a mistaken motivation of not being heard or not feeling powerful so we fight rather than just surrender. and i see in chat that um someone had posted that there is nothing to fight big aha uh -huh. right doesn't it feel good mm -hmm. to just step into that So um, interesting because we did our little um, 
we are going to keep tapping, but um, I don't usually this early on sort of tap into the affirmations, but it felt like it was needed. All right, so um, let's move on to our second round here. This is going to be a good one. All right, ready, guys? Hmm. And just feel yourself in your body. You know, it's, it can be so easy for us lay workers to just sort of detach and, and experience life outside of our bodies. Just feel yourself in your body. Tapping on the outside of the hand. Even though I have a habit of giving my power to others. Because I think that that's the only option. that's available to me. I deeply and completely love, forgive, and accept myself. Even though I have a habit of giving my power to others, because this is what I've learned, this is what I've been shown, this is what I know. I deeply and completely love, forgive, and accept myself. Even though a part of me doesn't believe that I am enough, just as I am right now, I deeply and completely love, forgive, and accept myself. Tapping the inside of the eyes, don't feel like I'm enough. Don't feel like I am enough. And so I give my power to others. It's a habit that I have. Something that I learned a long time ago. Even lifetimes. To give away my power. because I don't feel like I am enough. I am not enough. I am not enough. And yet somewhere inside I know this is not true. and that I can break this habit of giving away my power and let it go completely. And step into who I really am. Standing up strong for who I truly am. Top of the head because I deeply and I completely love forgive and accept myself. So I feel like we could be tapping on not enoughness all day, probably. That we were thinking, Jamie. Oh yeah, that I was going through my like, oh my gosh, this is a whole other nine day event. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's and the things that we do to be enough, like the, that we think we have to do, that we convince ourselves we you know we have to do this. I need to have that. I gotta give this. I gotta give that. And yeah, you're enough because you're breathing, you know, like you're enough because you exist. You don't have to do anything to be enough to anyone or anything or you, there's nothing extra you have to do. Right. <laughs> so true. So true. So I see we have a um, comment, love touching on the emotion, hate, hating. I have felt that often. Can you expand on hate? And uh, so, and hating, I'm guessing. Um, 
and please clarify if I'm not understanding that correctly. Um, I'm not sure exactly what you're getting at, but I, I feel called to, to share this, is that we don't like to look at the ugliness that we're carrying inside of us. We don't like to acknowledge that we're throwing F-bombs at ourselves or hating certain things, because especially as light workers, we want to be light and love to everyone all of the time. And as uh, Jamie, I know, knows that that's, that, <laughs> that's just not the human experience. And so we do have emotions that may feel interesting. The word in my head is despic despicable. Um, we do have emotions that uh, we wish were different, weren't there, mm -hmm. right? Totally aligned with our, our topic for today. Um, and that this is about accepting that we can have hatred sitting right next to love because we hate one aspect of our lives and we love something that's sitting right next to it. Um, so, and, and that's where I think the healing can come in because we can hate the fact that we're, um, I'm trying to come up with an example here. Well, this is a really silly example, but it's starting to get cooler here. So, you know, I can love the fact that the humidity is low and that it's beautiful dry weather, but I can, hate's a strong word, but I don't like the cold. It's sitting right next to it. Um, so there's this sort of um, dancing of dynamics. And obviously that's a very simple mundane example, but when you start to apply that to relationships and living circumstances and things that are bigger, um, it becomes more charged. And, and, and honestly, a big part of the healing that needs to take place. Because awareness is such, you know, it's really like 95% of the healing. So once you're aware that, oh my God, I really do hate this, but I need to not hate that I'm hating it, because there's one right there, right? Except that you are hating something and move into that space of, okay, so if I'm hating this, what, what's going on with the dynamic and how can I release this? I've been thinking that too, just for even tomorrow, right? We love that the weather's cool, it's not humid, but you can't have your fire and it's late. Right. Because it's so dry, you know? It's like, here's this beautiful time to have ritual and ceremony in the way that we Right. We think we should have ritual and ceremony, but if we surrender and accept that fire ain't happening, <laughs> you know, it opens space for a deep experience and maybe something creative comes from that that allows you, you know, to right. explore something new and, you know, but we could hate that it's too dry because we want things a certain way because we think that's how it has to be. And we think a lot and then which will keep us from surrendering because we have all the answers. Right. <laughs> yeah, it's it's blocking the blessings. It's yeah, that's right. Your, your <laughs> yeah. Hashtag. Right. <laughs> so we had another sharing about fearing the power, a big one. Mm -hmm. Definitely a big one. You know, because when we surrender, we're we're really um, giving way to that power, and it can be um, scary to think about that. Uh, which actually applies, I'm going to just make a note here, um, actually applies very directly as a great segue into our third round of tapping here. All right. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear it, but your spirit animal, Jamie, is in the background screaming. <laughs> she would. <laughs> if you guys hear a cat screaming in the background, that's my little rosy girl. and Apparently she thinks things should be different. <laughs> Anyway, all right, so let's dig into our third round here. Tapping on the outside of the hand. Even though part of me believes that I, my small self, know better than God and my angels. I deeply and completely love, forgive, and accept myself. Even though part of me believes that I, my small self, knows what's best, 
I deeply and completely love, forgive, and accept myself. Even though I am so scared of my true power that I pretend I don't know about it. I pretend I've forgotten. And I pretend that my ego knows best. I deeply and completely love, forgive, and accept myself. Tapping the inside of the eyes. I know better than God. I know better than God. I know better than God. I am so scared of God. I am terrified of stepping into that power. Who knows will change what will change if I do? Who knows what will change if I do? I'm so scared of stepping into my power. I don't know what that looks like. I was never taught to do this. It was never shown to me. And yet now I know this is something I must do. And it scares me. Deep inside I feel this spark, this knowing. that gives me faith. And I know that God knows best. Top of the head, because I deeply and I completely love, forgive, and accept myself. And we're going to go right into tapping the affirmation, and then we'll open it up for any, any questions or comments. Tapping on the outside of the hand. I am a powerful being. I am guided by my angels. I am faith. I surrender. My power is my oneness with God. My power is my oneness with God. And surrendering to that truth. I am one with God and the angels. I am one with love. Top of the head, I am the divine child of God and the angels. And so it is. Little angel wink there as they take the trash away. <laughs> love it. Did you hear that? <laughs> I heard it, but yeah, I love it. Yeah. So in angel communication land, that's uh, you know just a little message that we just took the trash out. Mm -hmm. yeah. The emotional, the emotional stuff. Yeah. So Jamie, any any other insights or sharings you would like? Feels complete. It just feels really good. It does feel good. It feels like honey. Yeah, it's nice and thick and warm, but layers, but not too fast. So you can really enjoy it and and maybe just a you know a testament per se of, of that being in the moment, surrendered in every moment, and knowing no matter what the moment may be, if we truly allow ourselves to feel in our body that you know we can feel the yumminess. There's still yumminess happening 
for me anyway, feels more my attention more. Or what am I giving attention to? So I'm missing when I put my attention on, you know, the intensities that are happening. If I'm able to bring myself back into my body and in my space of being and connecting with that spark and just, you know, really feeling that the juiciness and that yumminess that is just there to be had in each and every moment. And it's okay if you don't feel it <laughs> because sometimes there's going to be time. So I don't want to make it so any of you feel like you're doing anything wrong. If it is just too intense and no, you can't connect. That's okay too. Just surrender and knowing that you're exactly where you're meant to be feeling what you are for a reason. It's just yeah. times when we choose, there are times I feel that our egos can, we choose to let our egos lead and we can miss out, but it doesn't always mean that, you know, you're not doing it right. Right. Throw that out. <laughs> the end goal is to love ourselves all the time, no matter what. Mm -hmm. That's the journey. All right, my loves. Thank you, Jamie, for joining. Thank you, everyone, Thank you. for being here again today. Excited to be uh, joining you again here tomorrow at 11 a.m. And um, please do continue to share as you feel guided. So much love to each and every one of you. Blessings. Yeah. Be well. Nice.